Alrighty, back at Beach Up 2022, this is the Sunday Show Day with the prize giving of the top 5 cars, retro caravan and bikes. Everybody rolls down to Williamson Park to get amongst the bands, the entertainment, the goodies for sale, everything that just goes on around Beach Up itself. The voting for top 5 is done by donations into a bucket in front of each car, counted up at lunchtime to find out just who is the most popular car for the 2022 Beach Up event. Along with the prize giving, there's auctions for all sorts of awesome goodies, all raising funds for the local charities and Fongmatar itself. The biggest draw card being the $10,000 giveaway to one lucky entrant who happens to be there on the day, but you have to be there. This is such an awesome event and a great way to cap off such a massive weekend of shows, runs, bands, you name it. Everything that goes on with Beach Hop itself. So get amongst.
awesome. Okay, let's get on with it. So we're going to make some presentations to say uh, category winners that were announced. In droves. And the winner of the top car voted by you at Bretco Beach Shop 22 was car number 286. Rob the Vicar with the 1948 Holden all the way from Australia. Congratulations. We've got you a TV and we've got you a trophy and uh, we're so pleased that you were able to be here and be part of the show. To all you other guys, congratulations and thank you for being here. You've done really well. And be proud of those vehicles. Thank you. This is your competition. Okay, so uh, there's a Miranda. Someone's gonna put their hand in there and draw out a winner. And what are they gonna what are they gonna win? Do you know what they're gonna win, John? Yeah, they're gonna win a uh, Marlena and Barstools. Oh, that sounds good to me. We've got a winner. You don't have to be here to win this, but we hope they are. It goes to David Bennett. Now this is a, a very special lady. Um, she's been a Redco branch manager um, for Thames and that, but unfortunately she's got terminal cancer. And um, she's going through some treatment at the moment, it's costing a lot of money. And we're going to auction off all of her special Redco shirts that their team have for the last 11 years. For Miranda to help you with your medication, do you just want to say a few words? Yeah, so I was diagnosed with terminal breast cancer at 31 two years ago. Um, Redco's been my family for a long time, and even though I haven't worked with them for a few years, they still get me a shirt every year, and we get out and enjoy the beach up every, every time. So these shirts are only one of 50 that are made for the Redco crew. You can't buy them. Um, and so I put together my, my last shoes from the last 11 years. So from 2012 to today's beach shop. So if you guys could give me some support, um, yeah, Miranda, yep. costs a lot of money, ten thousand dollars to every six to eight weeks um, that I've just been. So every little dollar helps me towards it. And if this one doesn't work, at least it'll give me a bloody good holiday, maybe. Yeah, so, mate. Thank you very much um, for your support. And yeah, let's do this. Yeah. So thank you. Okay. So, can I get a starting bit of, say, $500? Is it worth $500 yeah, mate, yeah, right here. I've got $500 here. I've only got so another $500. Do I have $1,000? Yeah, yep. I've got $1,000. Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, mate. 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 Yeah, I'm at three and a half thousand dollars here. I'm at three and a half thousand dollars down here. Do I have four thousand dollars? Four thousand. I put my glasses on. I can see. Okay. I'm at three and a half thousand here. Do we have four thousand dollars? Want to keep this short and sweet? I'm at three and a half thousand dollars. I'm at three and a half thousand dollars. Three six. I'm looking at three six. I got three six over here. Three thousand six hundred. I'll do hundreds. I'll do anything. Three thousand six hundred at the moment. Do I have three seven? Do I have four three seven? We're at 3.6, I'm going to go once, I'm going to go twice. Yep, out here, out here. Whoa, I'm up to... 3.7. 3.7, I'm at 3.7 at the moment, $3,700. $3,700 for a great cause. I hope he's going to check with the wife. I'm at $3,700, I'm going once. $4,000, we're at a round of applause. We're at $4,000. Do we have any advances on $4,000? Hang on, they're conferring with each other. Okay. Are they going to go halves? What's the deal? $4,000? $4,000 going once, $4,000 going twice. Sold. Congratulations, Miranda. Thank you. Don't go away, while you're there, we've got one of these stage banners, okay, that we have for Ritko Beach Shop 22. You won't find another one of these. We can auction this off. I'm going to start with $200. Anyone give me $200 for it? $200. Anyone want? I've got $200 down there. Do we have $250? Do we have $250? $250 down there. Do we have $300? $300. The proceeds from this are going to go to Miranda, okay? So I'm at $300 down here. Do I have $350? $500. Do I have $600? $1,000. I've got $1,000 over here for the banner from Miranda. Do I have any advances on $1,000? Down the back. What are you saying? 
He said 1500 over here from Miranda. Do we have any advances on 1500? Going once, going twice, sold for $1,500. Please come forward, sir. Thank you. Awesome. That's so cool. The team to bring it out, okay? Now we've had Julia Tapp, who we're going to talk to very, very soon, do some airbrushing on it. Burger Fuel donated it. Now, when you're a kid, you bought model kits and cars, they come on a tree and you snap them off. Well, this is artwork like that, and it's all mini parts. It's all fiberglass. We've got doors, we've got a boot, we've got guards, and a bonnet. If you had a body, you could put the whole lot together and you have half a fiberglass car. But um, we're going to option this. Now, Beat Shop is a registered charity, like I just said. It needs some clear over it, but it will look really good hanging in your man cave. So can we get some bids on this? I'm going to start with, say, a $250 bid for this piece of special artwork. Airbrush, it's got Redco Beach Shop 22 on it, it's got Burger Fuel, it's got V8s on it. Do someone want to give us $250 for it? $250. Do we have $400 for it? No one? Oh, yep, yeah, we got $400 down there. It's going to go to Beach Shop. Do we have $500 for it? We all arranged. We got five hundred dollars down there. Do we have any? A thousand? You're a good man. So we're at a thousand dollars over here. A thousand dollars. Any advances on a thousand? Put your hand up. Thousand dollars going once. Thousand dollars twice. Whoa! What are we up to? Fifteen. Fifteen hundred dollars over there. Thank you. This helps fund the festival. Fifteen hundred dollars over there. It's on you. You can have it. Okay. Fifteen hundred going once. Fifteen hundred going twice. Sold. Thank you so much. Come on up. Thank you. She's an absolutely amazing one of New Zealand's best airbrush artists. Let's hear it for Julia. Awesome. We love her, she does a lot of our artwork for us on the caravans and things like this. Anything we want, she does. She drives some miles a lot near Fongaray. She'll meet us in Auckland, she does all sorts of stuff. So Julia has got a very special cause that she's pushing. And we've got the three um, artwork of her that we're going to auction off. But Julia, just tell us about what you're all about. Okay, so um, I run a um, charity called Forget Me Not Life Casting. And we do the cast at the hospital at the stillborns and any child that passes away before the age of 13. They're all done completely for free. Um, if you can see it, this is a little set of feet. And we rely entirely on donations to provide this for, I think last year was 150 families. Um, so we really need your support today. Awesome, what a fantastic thing to do. Okay, Julia, so we've got some pieces of artwork. Can we uh, bring them forward? One at a time, we'll start with uh, Rosie the Riveter. We did it. Yeah, we did it this time. <laughs> we did it this time. And I think she's got uh, Beach Shop 22 on her. Okay, get the Redco team to, uh, to help out. What happened to our other models? My, the other two models in the green shirts were my daughters. They've been kicked off. <laughs> okay, let's start with 200 bucks. This is an amazing piece of art. Do we have $200 for Rosie the Riveter? $200. Do we have $250 for Rosie the Riveter? Two fifty. Do we have three hundred dollars for raising the river? We're at two fifty. I'm looking for three. Got three hundred bucks down there. Do we have three fifty? Who's that friend over here? He's three fifty. Do we have four hundred? We're at four hundred for this amazing piece of artwork for a great charity. Four hundred dollars. We're going once. Five hundred dollars. Six hundred. Six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars going once. Six hundred dollars going twice. Sold. Well done, thank you. I think it's going back to Australia, right? You can put it in your holder. Okay, the next piece is Ratfin. One of my favourite cartoon characters. This, this, this guy... Oh, he's trying to bring me. Um, so, um, this is Ratfin. Now, he's my, one of my heroes when I was a kid. He used to be in the Bubblegum Rappers. He's the anti-Mickey Mouse. Okay, so we're going to start off with a bid. I wouldn't mind this. Andrea, can I? I'm going to make a bid. I'm going to make a bid of two hundred dollars for my, my man cave. I'm going to be in trouble. I'm at two hundred. What have we got? Two fifty. Two fifty. I'm looking for three hundred. Two fifty. And I'm at three hundred. Three hundred. I'm at three hundred behind me. Do we got three fifty? I got three fifty here. Have I got four hundred? I'm at 350 here. This member's for a great cause. I'm at 350. We're at 400. We're at 400. I'm at 500. 500. I know you want it, Larry. We're at 500 going once. Oh, no, here you go. 
550. There is a 550. Oh, the name. 600, I heard you say, Larry. 600. 600. Whoa, how about down the back of here? What have you got down the back? Do you want, what, how much are you going to spend? A thousand? Is it a thousand? You want it for a thousand? Wave if you wanted it for a thousand. I'm in a thousand down there with some crazy lady in a pink outfit jumping up and down. I came in a thousand. A thousand dollars going once, a thousand dollars going twice. Sold to you, lady. Please come on up. That's fantastic. Thank you. We're going to do another draw. We're going to do the New Zealand Hot Rod Association draw too. The last artwork that Julia is donating for this fantastic cause is this amazing tiger. Okay, let's start at say 250. It's going to be worth at least 250. I've got 250. 300 over here. Do I have any advances on 300? Do we have a 400? I'm at 300 dollars. Do we have a 400? 350. $400. 400 dollars down here. Do we have any advances? 450. I'm looking for 450. 450. I'm at 400 going once. 400 dollars going twice. Sold. Thank you. Come on up, sir. You know, obviously surfing, Fong Matar's been renowned for his surfing. We've got a great surf break and we support the surfing community. We've got a, a, a former world champ here that lives in town. I know, uh, I think Ted's daughter went off to the junior world champs in South America earlier this year. So surfing is a huge part of our lifestyle here. But surfing and cars go together. Think of the Beach Boys. So that's why we've got this great synergy. We're going to make a draw. I'm going to close my eyes and someone with these surfers entrance is going to take home a Panasonic TV thanks to Panasonic. And the winner is Nelly Fremantle. Nelly, you've won a TV. Is she excited or what? There we go. So uh, you want to grab your TV there and get your photo taken? You can put that up in your bedroom. That's awesome. Yeah, okay. Warren, Warren is uh, one of the big cheeses at the New Zealand Hot Rod Association. Been around since uh, the late 60s, forever. Not Warren, but the association. And uh, say a few words, bud. Yeah, mate, look, I want to thank the crowd out there. I know Noddy's the face of this place, and we all know how much he does. But there's the whole team behind him, with the Big Chop guys, thank you, and Repco major sponsor and all the other sponsors out there because this shit doesn't happen without them. So we want to thank you guys. Drive safe on your way home. We've got a draw here for a Hot Rod Association member for a thousand dollars because they entered the beach hop. So um, without further ado. Okay I'll put my hand and I'll pull one out. Close my eyes. Okay I've got one here. This one here. Goes to Tony. Tony Collins. Entrant number 891. He's got a tea bucket. So, Tony, you won $1,000. Are you here? He might win 10 grand in a minute. So, Tony Collins. So, we have a random number generator on the computer that Des pushes a button and a number comes up with all the registered vehicle entrants. <laughs> you have to be here with your swing tag. Okay? So, if you win 10 grand, I expect you to make a lot of noise. Are you hopeful there? 966. Entrant number 966. Did I hear, did I hear a year? 966. Swing tag, he's running, he's got ten thousand dollars. Hey, you dropped something, but you dropped something. Come up on stage. Congratulations, mate. How are you? Can you believe he just won ten thousand dollars? Don't drop the baby. <laughs> He's so excited. Okay, buddy, let's have a little chat. So, uh, where are you from? From Omokaroa Beach. In Tauranga. And what are you driving at Ripco Beach Shop 22? 1968, Kevin Parla Coop. Um, how many times have you been to the beach shop before? Oh, I lost count. Probably a dozen. Awesome. Okay, and what are you going to do with the $10,000? I haven't thought about that yet. I thought about running across there. So <laughs> a bit puffed. I couldn't believe it. Just a um, shout out to, to Matt Webb 
and Marcy from Motorhead Imports. A bit of advertising. Yeah, they, they bought our car from California last year. Awesome. So, um, yeah, appreciate all their support. And your family here? And uh, the support of my wife, because it took a few months to convince her to buy the car, so otherwise we wouldn't be here. And what have you got to say? <laughs> awesome. Hey, congratulations, guys. It's, uh, it's a great way to wind up the festival, and this is our way of giving back to the entrance. You've got a chance to win 10k. We're winding things up now. That's it for Redco Beach Hop 22. I'll give you a little talk about Redco Beach Hop 23. It's on the 22nd to the 26th of March next year.